Are you tired of all the BS on how to grow on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the truth on how I grew my channel from zero to 9,000 subscribers in three weeks with no money at all. Let's get started. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name's Jade. You probably know me as the Instagram girl, but this time it's about YouTube because something miraculous, miraculous? I've never actually used that word before. Something crazy happened and that video did really well and I feel like you guys seem to like my no bullshit series, so it's just the real truth. I'm gonna make this video really concise and straight to the point. It's going to be two parts. I'm gonna talk about the content and then how to market. A lot of you guys have a 50-50 content and marketing problem. Regardless, good content will carry you through. You don't have good content if your product is shit. Marketing will only expose it. So this is going to be the part two series on how to grow your YouTube channel. Part one will be linked below if you want to see how I have the mindset on growing this channel so fast and so quickly. Oh, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade. I'm 16 years old. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm here to help you grow on social media. So if you want to like this video and subscribe right here, that would truly mean the world to me and I'd really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to cut to the chase. So a lot of you guys don't really take a look at your YouTube analytics, but as I said this before in my other videos, like I sleep with my analytics on, like I'm always checking it because I really see the importance of creating content around the data that you have. A lot of you guys might not even have the data to look at. So it's crucial to at least post a lot of sh That's why I do daily uploads. So I can literally A-B test on what works and what doesn't. So according to my data, I'll pop it right here. So traffic sources are where your views come from. Initially, you guys actually want to double down on search. So YouTube search. So what happened to me is I had a lot of people searching in for how to grow on Instagram. I'm the first search. But what happened is because my watch time was long, YouTube itself boosted the video, so it was recommended on, on multiple channels. I think that's the key. So you have to have a good search, and then you have to have a good watch time. I'll teach you guys a little formula I came up with to make it more concise, and you can apply it to your channel. Again, I repeat, a lot of you guys do have a content problem, and your marketing problem will only make it worse. By the way, guys, I talk a lot about having good content, and you guys are like, fuck that, that's bullshit. It. Honestly, super crucial. You don't have to have fancy cameras. Have a good content strategy plan. Okay. For example, a lot of you guys are scratching your heads because you're like, why am I not getting views? I usually see two typical mistakes. So you're creating videos that no one gives a shit about and no, one, no one's gonna pay attention. And you have to really think about audience retainment. How do you get people to stay from point A to point B and follow your video? And ideally, you actually have to start with content that people care about. That's why in my eyes, you can disagree, but vlogs can damage small channels in the beginning, okay? You wanna be a vlogger, do it. It's just going to be harder to grow. Also, I also like to, I also like to side with either entertainment videos or educational because people search for that. But people search for vine compilation. People search for tutorials on how to sell cats on Craigslist, right? Like people search for these things. Understand who your demographic is. Understand what they're actually caring about, what they're actually searching for and how you can help them instead of just doing your own shit and hoping for the best. I mean, you can do that too, but like. <laughs> So today we had 9,000 subscribers and Elon Musk launched SpaceX. So I thought it'd be fitting to uh, make this space themed. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be multiple stages to this tutorial. Stage one is about how to create good content, a variable of success. Stage two is all about marketing, getting yourself out there and getting your content distributed all over the world. So we're gonna start with stage one. So I work with a lot of e-commerce brands in the seven figure level at my family's marketing agency. Right, okay, and then we actually do something called FOSS, variable of success, the components of how people click on a video. So a lot of people think views get you subscribers, but that's a no, no. A good title and a thumbnail will get you the click. The click will obviously get you a view. The view will give you the watch time and the watch time will determine if they subscribe or not. My components of a variable of success comes down to the following four things. A good thumbnail, a title that's competitive and searches well, a very, very good hook in the intro, and then keeping them engaged to the very end with a strong call to action. That was a lot of words. Let me explain. A lot of you guys are either vloggers or you're musicians and you do a lot of entertainment content. And you're like, Jade, how do I provide value to the consumer? But entertainment is value if they are able to stick with it and find it interesting. So in regards to the thumbnail, I actually have a thumbnail guy. His name is Ollie. He's from London. So he does really good aesthetically pleasing thumbnails that I will never be able to replicate. And then in regards to video ideas, I only do stuff that people actually will listen to, AKA I make sure people will search for my video first. If people aren't searching for how to get a cat on 
It's Craigslist. I'm not gonna make a video on how to get a cat on Craigslist. Like I will, before I even make the video, I will search up on TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a service I use that like tells me if my keywords are ranking. And keywords just tell you if you're gonna be the first search or the fifth search or the 20th search. So yeah, so have a good thumbnail. So it aligns with the title. Once you get the title, I think having a hook is crucial. Every single YouTuber does this, but some people do it wrong. Or 10 seconds of a good hook saying like, hey guys, this is the video before we jump in really, really helps simmering to the middle. And at the end, have a strong call to action. If you want to say like and subscribe, that's totally chill. But normally you want to be like, have a stronger, more like straightforward call to action. You can make people sign up for your newsletter, follow you on Instagram. Just make it really confident and don't list a bunch of shit so people get confused. So if you're able to actually get the watch time up, that's all you really need to focus on. People are always focusing on how to get the most subscribers. Like you only need to focus on watch time because with watch time you'll deliver an engaged community, okay? People who actually care about your content. Stage two, my favorite part, marketing. I think you still need to have good content. The beginning was just to say, like when people are being like a bullshit, like <laughs> have good content, like it's actually important. There are a lot of videos I've been seeing with amazing amount of views interaction, but no one subscribes to the channel because they think that they're a piece of shit. I don't want that to happen to you. Like I want people to actually like what you're posting after that viral video. So stage two is all about how to grow and expand. Really, you want all organic traffic. So what that means is you don't have to pay any money for ads. Like I didn't pay anything for Google AdWords. In fact, at Google AdWords paid me. All I did was organic traffic using SEO and keywords. So I'm gonna elaborate more on that. And the key is guys, you wanna just be the suggested video. When I was talking about watch time and all that shit, it's just saying like there's no bullshit. You just need to have a strong watch time so you can be the next suggested video. I went on to my analytic manager and I saw my traffic sources were 60, like 60 to percent just from like a suggested video. And it was crazy to see like I was up against like one of the people with millions of views, but because I was like the up next recommended video, you know what I'm talking about with like the little recommended on YouTube? That's where all my traffic came from. And because I had good content, it carried me through. I'm actually not sure why I grew so fast. It kind of blows my mind. It's definitely timing and no way means like you're gonna grow as fast as me just because I've been doing this for like five years, I think seven maybe, at this point with like three failed channels. So I've learned a lot. And the thing I've learned is if people don't search for you, if you don't know if your video is gonna rank first, I would say hold off before making it because you're just gonna put yourself in a hole because you need to actually double down on content that gives you traffic. And then once you get an audience that cares about what you're saying, then you can do whatever the f you want, whether you wanna pose with a water bottle or sell cats on Craigslist. So in regards to keywords, um, I went over this actually, I'll link below right here how to rank number one on YouTube analytics. But the recipe is really simple and when I was saying stage one and stage two, it's all leading to the same idea that you just need to be suggested if you don't want to pay any money. Like if you want to put ads on top of other people's videos, that's super cool. But I believe in all organic traffic. My keywords were how to grow on Instagram. That was super highly searched and it was competitive but because I made the video a month and a half before everyone else started making it, I had huge traction. It's definitely it's definitely timing. In part one of this video, you guys can also check that out. I was talking about the mindset and it was just luck and timing and a matter of fact of how, how delusional are you to talk about a video a month and a half before it's actually popular. Guys, I honestly am super thankful for every single one of you and that's why I keep making all of these like info videos, but I also want to show my life. I will keep going with these vlogs. I'm headed to LA tomorrow for my family marketing agency's client meeting and I will bring you guys along and i hope this video was helpful even though it was super concise and short like elon musk with the spacex it's, it doesn't have to be that complicated just kidding so yeah roughly i'm actually averaging 300 followers a day i will make an updated version just because right now i wanted to get it out here because i'm not sure things will change right now suggested videos are doing the best for me and having my watch time increase oh congratulations to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. Comment below how long you've been doing YouTube. For me, it's like seven, eight years total with every single channel I've possibly made and started. <laughs> what is it for you? I wanna know, have you even started YouTube? Are you starting a YouTube channel? How is it going for you? I wanna know how long it's been. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, so check the description box. There's a few links below in regards to all this YouTube growth stuff. I'll catch you guys in LA, actually. So I love you all so, so much. Have a great, amazing day. Mwah. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. 
if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really